have a Zizz's work on display here. Come over here. Look at this. Isn't it just fantastic work? Catch the light on that. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. They are sculptures. They are metal, carved works, set in resin. Everything is in there. Over here, we have the group exhibition. Which is here is Anna with her cat, beautiful cats and many people. And Marco, he's put his uh, work in down here. All of them are uh, fresh new works that have been put on display specifically for the Art Sydney. And here is Benjamin Kermy. Benjamin Kermy, who is influenced by the uh, 60s and the uh, pop art. Yes, I've been painting since I was four. Uh, life keeps happening to me, so like time gets taken out of painting time. But now I've got a lot more time to draw and paint. Um, I kind of love flowers. I think they're a female thing. They're flagrantly sexual. Um, jellyfish, nature. And then I do collages. And the collages, this one's the Isle of the Rebel Women. And um, I sort of got a feather and I made it a kind of weird firebird, things like that. That's Jerry Paul, I come out of the fashion magazine, and she's kind of a mermaid. And I love the sea, I love things like the sea, and I have got no Pisces in me, or any planets anywhere near Pisces. This is my more pipe fig trees. I love trees. I love jellyfish. This, this was a, this was a drawing cruise, and this is Mia, the model. And it looks like she's a bit of a captured by a slave trader or something there. But I love the reflections of the water on her body. And that's a very nice guy who's another artist, and he was wringing out his socks or something there. It's my sister. Yeah. 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 I do experiment with my medium a lot, pushing it around, trying to trying to do things I haven't done before and explore possibilities that other artists might not have thought of. In this work there is a lot of glass painting which is my specialty. A lot of hand painted glass, multiple firings where the glass paint is fired onto the surface of the glass so that the base is almost melting and the glass paint melts into the surface. Here I've rubbed it back into the texture of the glass, big splatters, more over this area, some glass engraving, some sandblasting, a little bit of enamel work, some silver stuff, and using various machine glass together glasses which one might not find ordinarily juxtaposed. This one here for instance is a very old glass. A commercial glass used in office installations. But right beside it we've got mouth plane glass where I've flattened up the glass against glass with no lead between. And then as well as the stained glass I have a mixed media piece in the wall over here, which is oils and acrylics and felt pens. And over here, I've shown some of my photographs of my street art. So these are paintings on billboards, uh, hoardings, building hoardings around the street. Uh, this one still exists at the moment, down in Philbo Street. The others are no longer there, so we have a photographic record only. This here is a study I did. It was a still life and death, because just about everything in it was dead, except for the roses which I brought in at the last moment to create some life and colour and goblet of wine or blood. It's symbolic of continuation of colour, as you can see. And yeah, I enjoyed that dramatic effect. And here is um, some stuff that I did, a uh, bit of a um, tripping moment. 
uh, it's called a moment of ecstasy. Um, here is sunrise over the Ganges River. This is a series of India pictures that I took and uh, painted and I thought it would be a nice series. Here is an African theme. And funnily enough that you can actually organise them in so many different orders but they still match up. And I didn't even realise that until I finished it because the trees just, they just, they just match up. It's weird, but they do. Um, yeah, these are all like visionary things and a bit of finesse. They're from India as well. And, um, and here I had I. She was modelling at my school. And um, the study of a skeleton. Skeletons are cool. We've all got one.